Hello, and welcome to Anthropology 212. This is Introduction to Cultural Anthropology. Um, my name is Tracy Lutke, and I am the professor for this course. And I just want to start out by welcoming you to the class. Um, I'm thrilled to have you all along for the ride with me. Uh, Anth 212 is a course I've taught a lot of times, and I always love doing it. Um, I'm a cultural anthropologist by training, so, um, so this is my field, um, and I'm always excited to share what cultural anthropology has to offer um, with students who haven't taken anthropology classes before. Um, so what I want to do in this just very brief um, welcome video um, is um, show you around our D2L site a little bit so you know how to navigate and know where to find things um, so that you're in a position to start the semester off strong um, and know um, what you'll need to do next um, and where to find the materials you will need to do so. Um, so let's take a quick look at our D2L site um, and I'll, I'll show you around. Okay, so here we are on um, the, the home page or the front page of the Anthropology 212 D2L site. So what you'll see on this page is an introduction from me, which I'll let you read on your own when you get there. Um, and it also importantly includes um, a really quick and easy way to get in touch with me. Um, so you have my email address, my student hours, which are um, the hours when I'm available to meet with you. You can drop in my office or, um, or just get on to um, the provided Zoom link if you want to speak with me. Um, there are lots of other ways to get in touch with me, um, which I detail in our syllabus. Um, but right off the bat, if you have any initial questions right at the beginning of the semester, um, concerns about getting started in the course, please feel free to use this information. Um, in the announcement on the home page of our course um, to contact me. Okay, um, so the thing you need to know most about D2L, and I'm going to assume some of you have already used it and are familiar with it, um, but even if you're not, it's quite straightforward. Um, the main things you want to keep in mind are these tabs across the top. Um, those are the key areas that you'll be using um, during the course. Um, the most important of these is the first one after the home page, which is content. So I'm going to go there now. The content area is where you will find um, basically links to all the materials you will need for the course. Okay. If you look along the left hand side here, um, this is basically a course outline. Um, so it starts with the sort of welcome start here area, um, which is where you have already been, right? If you're watching this video. Um, it's where the syllabus and the welcome video are located, so the real basic sort of overview documents. And then continuing down this left-hand side, you'll see um, uh, entries for each week of the semester um, that are um, the place where you'll find the lectures, the readings, and links to any assignments, discussions, etc. that are part of that week's material. Um, so if we go to week one, this first week of the semester, um, you'll see then up at the top, uh, sort of an overview of what we're going to do in this week. And then scrolling down a bit, um, you'll see links to all the things you'll need, the readings and that first lecture. So all the lectures for this course, since it's online, of course, um, will be in the form of this welcome video. That is, they will be video lectures where you'll see me speaking and PowerPoint and other imagery as well. Okay. Um, so. Again, you've already got the full outline of what the course will entail um, and most of the materials that you will need. Um, a few of the readings for the you know, last part of the course I haven't quite posted yet, but those will be up um, within the first week of the semester. So you're all set to get going on um, reading, uh, watching lectures, etc. Okay, so that's the content area, the most important area to look at after you watch this video and look at the syllabus. Um, these other tabs then um, are primarily the areas where you'll find the various assignments for the course. Um, so we will, as a part of this course, be doing um, discussions. Um, so you'll see here the discussion prompts, uh, which you can post your comments to. Um, and uh, likewise, so you can just go to the discussion session if, if you want to see them that and want to get an overview of, of what all the discussions are. Um, but as well, you'll notice that within the content area, um, anytime I ask you to do a discussion, uh, then I also link to it within that unit, right? So here we are, this is for week three, I think, yes, week three. 
So that's where the first discussion comes up. So you can also just get to it through the link in the week three unit from the content area. So discussions, another important area you'll be going to. Um, likewise with assignments, um, this is where um, the sort of written assignments are housed. Again, they're also linked within the content area. In this course, you will, over the entire semester, be writing three papers. Um, and I've started putting up the handouts for those, and we will, of course, talk a lot more about those assignments when we get a little bit further into the class. Um, and then finally, um, the quizzes area is where the exams will be posted. They're not up there yet. Um, we have a ways to go before we start um, doing those assignments, but this is where you will find them, okay? Um, the grades tab um, is where you can keep track um, of how you're doing in the course. I will, of course, also be providing um, specific feedback on any assignments that you turn in, but the grades is sort of a grade book where um, all the scores are, um, are kept and you can sort of keep a, a running um, count of how you're doing in the course, what your, what your current grade is. Okay, class list and email, of course, is a way to contact other people in the course, including me. Um, you're welcome to use the D2L email area to, to contact me. That's a really easy way to do it. You don't have to think about what my email address is. You can just go in there and click on my name. Um, and you can also, of course, just email me directly. Again, back to the homepage here, um, you have my email address here down below, tluki at neiu.edu. Um, as I say, I've taught this course a lot of times, and I'm always excited to return to it. Um, cultural anthropology is my training. Um, I've studied a bunch of different things as a cultural anthropologist, um, but my overarching interest is in the patterns of human contemporary social life. Cultural anthropologists are interested in culture. That is how people in different places in the world um, organize themselves, think about the world around them, interact with one another, etc. Um, so, as I say in the intro, which um, again you can you can read after you stop watching this video, um, one of the exciting things about te teaching cultural anthropology is that even if students have never studied this field before, you're all in a way experts in it because your lives as uh, as enculturated human beings are precisely what anthropologists are interested in. So you've been participating um, in the subjects that anthropologists are interested in. Um, which, again, means you already have a lot of experience in all of these subjects. What we'll do in this course um, is try to add another perspective to how you already think about your own life, and that's the perspective of an anthropologist. Um, so sort of stepping outside of your own cultural world and trying to understand it as yet one more variation in how people worldwide um, live and think about their lives. Um, so I'm hopeful, therefore, that um, what you learn in this class will give you new insights into your own experiences, and also allow you to interact with people from very different cultural backgrounds. Um, so I think a lot of what we discuss in this course is really relevant um, to everybody's lives um, and to the state of the multicultural world that we're all a part of. So I look forward to our semester together. Um, as I say, I can't repeat it enough. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me. I'm happy to speak with you or meet with you at any point in the semester. Um, whether you have questions or you just want to sort of chat about anthropology, please don't hesitate to get in touch. So um, we'll leave it there for now. Please, um, again, take a look at the syllabus. Um, and start to scroll through the materials and assignments for the semester. Um, it's the first week of the semester, so we're ready to get going. Um, any questions, let me know, and we'll talk again soon. Alrighty, bye-bye.